My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. everyone powder milk here and welcome back to the stanley parable i like to say this right now i am actually recording directly after the last video i posted the uh, five nights at fuck girls part two video on f and guess what i found out the hard way that i don't have to be at work today because i was sitting there waiting in my pts pts for pt formation and um, I was waiting to see people walk out, and nobody was answering my phone if there was a formation out. And I didn't get that information. So now I'm just sitting here, like, what the fuck? And now I'm just here playing the Stanley Parable. And also, guys, I am, no one had told me about any uh, of, the, of the thing things yet, so I decided to look them up. So the first... Um, ending we're gonna go through the freedom ending so we're gonna follow everything the narrator says as we go so here we go finally it's taken forever to load this is the store. Okay, we're gonna skip the narration part because we've already been through that. So we can get right into the game. So here we go. Um, we're gonna go right. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps, perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So we're actually gonna listen to what he says. Unfortunately, this is really laggy right now. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. So the left. This is the side he wants us to go. Okay, that didn't work. I just want to see if there's anything else out here. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. You can't jump. Oh, the achievement, you can't jump, because it used the space bar thing. Uh, I'll, I'll check that out later, because it says I have to go... I have to Coming obey to him. Staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I like how this game gives you the option to choose. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two eight four five but of course stanley couldn't possibly have known this two eight four five he said so two stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs trying to input anything on the device was useless since he could never possibly know that the combination was two eight four five Okay. Two, eight, four, five. Two. Where is the combo? Forgot. 
but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened oh, that worked. all by itself. Oh, that worked. Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. Well, was it because I couldn't? Fi oh, oh, there was the keypad. Ah, oh well, I'm dumb. What's this? Yeah. Oh, there goes the loading sequence again. Of course. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. What is going on? There's that light. Where am I? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Whoa. Mind Control. Hmm. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? What are all these? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. 247 is my room. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I have no idea what's going on, so... No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! Yeah, this scripted thing here. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Okay, where is my mouse? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. So how do I do that? Five. Awaiting input. Off. Ah, sorry guys. Ah, my ears itchy. Ah. Sorry about that.
What's going on? What? Ooh, what's going on? What's going on? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? He had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Come on. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. Okay, now I have no control anymore. Hold up. Path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Okay, that's really bright. That's really bright. <sighs> oh, this is the weirdest game. Okay, beat the game. That, that's the achievement I just unlocked. Crap. Now, I get to go through the other playthroughs. So, we're gonna go... Okay. Now, it's loading. I'm actually using Wikipedia because this is the only option I have. What's this? This is different. Why is there paper everywhere? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Okay. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. Guys, I'm gonna have to pause this recording, so we're gonna go back to the decision of where we, um... Of where we have to press the button, because this next play, this next alternate ending is if I press the on button. So instead of the off, so um, I'm going to I'm going to pause this real fast. So I'll be right there. And we're back, and we're actually at the power facility. So here we are, the system power. So we have to turn it on. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire <laughs> no wonder it's called the explosion ending. Let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. 
Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. I have no idea what I'm doing. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated? Alright, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I oh. simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this. There's no way this out. Version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control oh. wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? Oh, hold up, hold up. Zero. Seconds, time doesn't grow on trees. Zero, two, oh, one. Me. What's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door, or everything, anything, something here will save me. Hold up, I have to look this up because I don't know what I'm doing. <sighs> I think that's Stanley. That this so... video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. One. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge, it's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Goodbye, employee 427. Look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Ah, uh, goddamn man. Cling desperately to your frail life. Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. I have no idea what just happened. Was there a way to find it back? There was no way to go out through that. Ah. God damn. Well, actually, I think I ran out of time for now, just trying to figure this out. And I'm sorry, guys, to say this, but we're going to have to continue the Stanley parable another time to go through all the endings. I want to go find all the endings. That's my thing. I want all the endings of this to be shown. So anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys later and stay nerdy, my friends. Bye-bye.